So this is the fourth time I'm filming this video. The first time I forgot to turn on the microphone, and then the second time I accidentally turned off the receiver, and then the third time everything just died. So this is the fourth time I'm doing <laughs> Hi! Hi. It's been a while, but I'm working on a thing. It's a thing that's gonna take a while to see the light of day. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to just kind of talk with you all about what's really been going on. If you've been watching this channel for like the past, mm, like six months, you can tell that something's up and listen, okay? I'm aware that like, all of my personal struggles do not need to be made public. It's okay for some stuff to just remain private. But at this point, I don't feel comfortable just putting on a happy face and pretending like everything's okay when in reality it's not. I just feel manipulative and ingenuine in doing so, so yeah. It's always been a little bit of a meme on this channel that I deal with eczema. I've always had it. You know, when I was like four or five years old, I showed up at the doctor's office with two nasty ass red rashes on the inside of my elbows and I was put on topical steroid creams right at that age. Now, if you've never had the pleasure of dealing with eczema or psoriasis or any other kind of dermatitis, you wouldn't know what topical steroid creams are. So let me explain. They're just really strong creams that contain synthetic hormones that would normally be produced by your adrenal glands and they reduce inflammation by tightening capillaries and making it seem like your eczema has really gone away. But anyways, back to the story. So uh, for the past like 15 years, I've relied on these creams to keep my skin clear and I've been successful in doing so. I've never had like debilitating eczema. I know that there's some people that literally cannot leave the house some days because their eczema is so bad. Thankfully, I've never had to deal with that. And if that's you, my heart goes out to you because I can't even imagine how hard that must be. Things really started to change around the time that I started this YouTube channel. So about mid 2018. After that point, my eczema started to get substantially worse. It started to get a lot more itchy, a lot more red. It started to spread all over my body. This had never happened. It was spreading to my scalp. It was disgusting. We won't really get into the details of it, but as you can imagine, I started losing hair at a rapid rate. And when you're 18, I mean, that's nothing short of terrifying. Anyways, I kind of stuck it out for the next two years after that until August of 2020. So about six months ago. So around August of 2020 is when the topical steroid creams just stopped working. Like I, no matter how much I put on my skin, the flare ups wouldn't go away. So like any normal, normal human being. I went to my doctor and I was like, hey, remember those topical steroid creams you prescribed to me? Well, they're not working anymore. Huh? Is that? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> One second. Oh, really? Is that so? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Like, no matter how much I use, the flare-ups just don't go away. Well, you know what? That's interesting. What if you try... What about you just try to put more steroid creams on it? But ma'am, I told you, like, they literally stopped working. That's just counterintuitive. Put more steroid creams on it! <laughs> so, to make a long story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my- So anyways, to make a long story short, my visit to the doctor was pretty disappointing. I mean, she essentially just kind of dismissed my symptoms and uh, I was essentially left to fend for myself. So I went home, absolutely heartbroken. <laughs> I went home and I was like, okay, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. So anyways, I pulled out my computer and I started to do a little bit of self-diagnosing because that always goes well. Hey Siri, what health issue lists skin rash as a possible symptom? That would be simple. Possible ailments include fever, stomach bug, pneumonia, bronchitis, depression, cancer, brain-eating amoeba, AIDS, pregnancy. So I started to do a lot of research at this point on what causes eczema, how topical steroid creams actually work, and how to fix this mess that I've essentially led myself into. Now it's here that I'm not going to go too deep into 
everything that I learned because believe it or not, it's actually controversial. I mean, huh, who would have thunk? Something controversial on the internet? <laughs> Preposterous. And since I don't want all of the internet doctors and pseudoscientists starting World War III in the comment section below, I'm gonna try to give you all just like a Cliff Notes version of everything I learned. If you're more interested in this topic, I recommend you do your own research. Picture this, you're me, you're five years old, and you show up at the doctor's office with eczema, and they prescribe to you topical steroid creams. Now, like I said before, topical steroid creams are essentially just synthetic hormones. But what they don't tell you is that if you use these creams for long enough, well, your body will become addicted to the hormones and will start to not produce its own, which means eventually your body will start to grow resistance to them. You'll have to medicate yourself more and more to get the same results. And eventually it might just stop working altogether like it did for me. So naturally, when you stop using these creams, your body goes into a sort of withdrawal because it's no longer getting the synthetic hormones you were supplying it with. And this manifests itself in a, a sort of eczema-like dermatitis. Your skin starts to flake, it's itchy, there's swelling, it's incredibly inflamed, and there's a whole other list of symptoms that I'm not gonna go in depth here because they're kind of nasty. So upon reading this, you know, I was a little bit skeptical, but then I got to thinking, I have every single symptom listed here and it's not like the creams were working. So really the only option I have here is to stop using the creams and see what happens. If I really do go into a kind of withdrawal state, then I guess it would confirm my suspicions that I actually am going through topical steroid withdrawal and I would be correct. So I stopped using topical steroid creams for the first time in 15 years on October 1st of 2020. After the first like two or three weeks, my skin got a little bit better. And then November rolled around. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I got one of the worst flare-ups of my entire life. It, it, was a, it was a hot situation, as you can imagine. <laughs> Since then, my skin has been almost as bad as that flare-up, if not worse. Some days it's really good, some days it's terrible. All I can do is pretty much just lie in bed and itch. I'm guessing the question is on a lot of your minds. Yes, I did have to drop out of university because of this. I'm too tired to keep up because I spend the entire night itching. I take three naps a day just to stay awake. And even if I do sit down to do some sort of work, I can't focus because I'm so itchy. Literally, the only thing I've been able to do somewhat is paint. But other than that, my life has been pretty much just put on hold because of this. I can't exercise because sweat irritates my skin and my skin physically hurts to move. I can't even wear my glasses because they sit behind my ears where my skin is red and uh, flaking off. I'm wearing these ones right now because, well, I look like death and I don't think you all want to see that right now, so I'll do you all a favor and wear these just for now. Something that I've really learned through this entire experience, even though it's been about like four months now, just how much of an impact diet has on your health. I think we really all underestimate how much the food we eat can affect our skin, our mood, digestion, so on. Because I've really had to experiment with different kinds of food. I'm hesitant to talk about this because the topic of diet and nutrition on YouTube is like an absolute hellhole. I can say this, I've had to cut out a bunch of things from my diet. It's not fun because I mean, I love food, so. <laughs> but if this is the price I have to pay for my skin to be okay, I'm fine with that. But other than that, that's been my life for the past four months. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys about this sooner. I think I was just too much of a pussy to talk about this online. It goes without saying that I'm like incredibly sorry for not posting often, uh, but I, I actually can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to work as fast as I can on this next video, but we'll see how my body reacts and if I am even capable of doing it, so. That's it, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one and I love you so much. Toodles.